I'm uh, I'm about to make this uh, component here. Uh, I call it a single component or a single module, if you want. Uh, is this circuit here? Uh, it's comprised of an AND gate uh, and a NOT gate, as you can see. And uh, it's pretty much from here, from this pointed line to here. This is the NAND gate, and from here is the NOT gate. And it is exactly what I have there. Exactly, exactly what I have there. The only difference is that I'm using uh, scrap uh, components. 100% scrapped. Everything that you see here is scrapped. Uh, I to I said uh, in my previous movie that I will make it uh, all this thing from SMDs, but I changed my mind and I I will make it from uh, from this uh, bigger versions. And uh, one uh, why I wanted to make this movie is that uh, to show you uh, these transistors that I have here. These are made most probably uh, by Russians uh, in the 80s or 70s. I don't know if you can see correctly. I also test everything. I test the transistors, I test the diodes, I uh, test the resistors, not to have uh, some uh, funny, uh, you know, surprises. <laughs> so uh, the transistors, I, uh, I tested them with that device there. Uh, it's called, actually, it's called a transistor tester. <laughs> uh, its name is GM328A. Yes, sir. Uh, tester, transistor tester. Uh, it's an old version, but uh, it's very good. It's still good. And uh, yeah, these transistors are totally scrapped from somewhere. I don't know where. And these two are brothers, and they have this, these markings on them. Uh, you see, I know, huh? can you focus, motherfucker, here, where I want? Yeah, do you see, it's a green, it's having a green dot there, yeah? And on top, is having a blue dot. And the same is with uh, this other one, it's also having a green dot there, and a blue one on top, like that. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, they are uh, BJT, NPNs, but uh, what, uh, and also, on the face of them, they absolutely have no marking. The only marking that, that they have are these uh, paint dot colors, <laughs> colors dot paints, and that's it. And they are absolutely no marking on them uh, whatsoever. So I'm using them because I, I have them from forever. <laughs> and I really wanted uh, an excuse to use them. And I, I actually love to use, I don't know, it's a pleasure of mine to reuse uh, old, uh, old and used, already used uh, components. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's a, it's like a pleasure or, or some kind. Uh, I don't know. But uh, it is uh, is making me feel useful that I'm reusing something that was used before. Uh, and I'm repurposing it, pretty much, you know. Uh, also, the diodes are uh, 1N4148. Nothing special about them. They are probably, like, new. Uh, but these resistors, these types, this, uh, yeah, types of resistors, uh, most probably they were made either in Russia or here in Romania. And uh, I love their mar they, uh, how they mark them. I really love them, uh, how they mark them. They, they clearly say 10 fucking kilo, no... Bullshit uh, uh, colors that you cannot read. So 10 kilo, and, and that one also is, is marked as 1 kilo. Let me see. Yeah, you see? 1 kilo. I love how they are marked. Very good. Very nice. I wish in the future uh, humankind will, will learn to, to mark them as well. <laughs> Very clear. And But the only problem they have, they are extremely, they have extremely, extremely, try to believe me, try to believe me, extremely shitty contacts. In the sense that if you, at, at this uh, short length of, of the leg, of the pin of the component, they, they are literally uh, hitting up so hard that they are getting out from the glue that they have there. I don't know how they are catched there, but uh, that catching, it's extremely, extremely sensitive to overheating. And it, it will be a challenge to, to use them. Uh, but if uh, it will be uh, a problem, I will change them, of course. And also I will uh, mold plastic. After I finish everything, the entire circuit after I will finish it, I will mold plastic over them. And let me show you. Uh, I don't know. I didn't decide which, uh, which plastic I will use. Uh, probably these guys, you know, that are already cut. I cut them manually, and if you wonder how, with what, I use this cutter, this is a metal cutter, and I, and I use the, that, uh, because there are parts of plastic that are very thick, and for those thick parts of plastic, I use the, that uh, very big, uh, forceful, very forceful uh, cutter that I have. <coughs> Alright, pretty much this is it, this is the before, <laughs> and I hope uh, it will be a, a happy after, we will see, we will see. Alright, it uh, took me a couple of hours. Uh, two, maybe two hours, two or three hours, and I made this contraption here, all those components that you've seen before, and they are uh, soldered here, hopefully in the right, uh, with the right connections, I hope I will not get uh, any surprises, <laughs> I check it and recheck it, and it, uh, it appears that I, I did it okay, this is how it's looking uh, without uh, plastic on it, but I will uh, pour, uh, melt plastic, all around it, and uh, hopefully I will make it look like a box. And as you can see, it's not that big as a normal IC with uh, seven pins, so uh, with fourteen pins. 
And uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a like a normal yeah somewhere there. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, keep in mind that uh, these are uh, normal uh, components and not SMDs. If it was with only SMDs, it was probably like that, <laughs> super super small. Uh, and uh, I love SMDs, but um, for this uh, project, yeah, I uh, I guess I will I'll make this. Uh, uh, as you can see, all the resistors are one next to the other, and I. I made them as close as possible, and uh, it's not pretty, but um, I hope it will work. And I will have to add uh, a plastic, like I said, on top of it. This is it. This is a small update about it. And this is what I'm usually use, using. Uh, melted uh, a solder. Let me actually show you. I have scrapped solder. And here is a little box full, full of solder that I scrapped. And those are big uh, wires of solder as well. Yeah, pretty much. And what you are seeing here is actually this uh, stuff. This, uh, this uh, uh, I forget how it's called in English. Uh, you see, it's semi-transparent. You can see my finger under it. But uh, because uh, uh, this was also way more transparent than that one, it was almost white when I bought it, uh, new, brand new. But because I'm, uh, it's, it's pr pretty much burned. You know, the, the <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I worked it a lot. And uh, this is how I'm doing it. You know, I'm using scrapped. Uh, uh, solder and uh, with that uh, thing, uh, resin. It's called the resin uh, from the trees. You know, you there are special trees. You collect the resin and uh, you you make it a, a, a helper for soldering. You know, is helping soldering a little bit better. You know about it. Right, right. This is it. All right. And uh, I didn't put the plastic. I didn't uh, pour uh, the plastic. Uh, I instead I put the pins on all the legs, uh, the diode legs, the plus, the minus. The output, I had to bend them in place, and also very, very important to actually test the thing, you know. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's doing its thing, all right. Uh, this is not working uh, yet perfectly, uh, but here the binary is the most important part. Oh, let me close, probably it's better, like this. And let me show you, uh, not that, not that. I have to operate with a single hand here. So this is uh, number two, number four. So one, two, three, four, and on four is resetting to zero. Uh, four, number eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and reset. And number nine, actually, uh, because nine and thirteen was a bit uh, uh, problematic. Uh, they give they give the most uh, errors. If I can reach there, correct. Uh, shut the opt. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine is resetting. Uh, I don't know how uh, to make the thirteen. But I, I know the nine is those two, and uh, yeah, it's uh, working fine actually, and I'm pretty, pretty impressed of my my little uh, component. <laughs> Remember, it was all of this guys, you know. Uh, I still keep them there on board, but see how much space they they take. And here is a single integrated circuit. Uh, it's almost uh, almost the same, not exactly, but almost pretty. And with big components, that's the big uh, uh, the big uh, difference. Uh, not uh, not with SMDs, which is. I'm, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud that it's working from the first try. <laughs> absolutely no errors, absolutely no problems. So now I can mold, put plastic on everything and protect everything because it's very uh, blah, 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 flimsy. It's not, uh, it's, you know, I have to work with it with care, uh, not, uh, not to damage it. So yeah, uh, when I will put it in plastic, it will be more solid than it is right now, pretty much. All right, that's it for this part. I also want to show you how it's looking right now with all the pins on it. Uh, those are the two transistors. And I deliberately uh, leave some bent wires, as you can see here, and a lot of places, uh, because uh, the plastic that I will pour into it, it will go through um, all these orifices. Hopefully, hopefully that's my uh, wish that I can fill uh, every uh, crevice, you know, every hole there, and make it extremely solid. Uh, because right now it's very bend bendable and fragile and everything, you know. And I, uh, as you can see, I bent up the pins of the diodes. And I soldered the, these pins. Uh, also, I want to show you something pretty important. Uh, I have a ton of pins that I cut and solderable uh, wires. Uh, to, and also here, these are more... Uh, they are thicker, very thick wire. They are, I believe, is copper wire. Uh, also from uh, from old component uh, pins. You can see this there. And I have another. Uh, I have another one here as well with the more, uh, I believe... I made this uh, envelope, by the way. <laughs> it's uh, very easy. To make. Let's see if I can grab one to show you. These are all from from diodes. Uh, no, from uh, resistors. There are uh, legs of uh, uh, resistors, all of them, and uh, pretty much the same uh, thickness. 
you know and uh there all right so that's uh, what, what this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, I have a lot of uh, cut pins that I uh, put aside and when I need uh, to make a component like this or make a connection or make a, a link of some kind, I pretty much have very good quality wires uh, to work with. You know, that's very important. So pretty much this is it. It's looking like a small dog. <laughs> very, very weird small dog, but <laughs> it is looking like one. All right. Uh, this is it for this part. I wanted to show you without the plastic right now. Next, it'll, I promise it will be in, in plastic. And here it is. It's not the best uh, design in the world, but uh, it uh, will do it. And uh, yeah, I fucked it up there. I tried to put some red <laughs> from this. I tried to put some red from this, but it turned out uh, very brown. <laughs> and I tried to make uh, to make the, um, some symbols, positive, negative, out, and in inputs. And uh, I failed uh, making the symbols. And uh, I will think about it how to make them. But for now, it's looking absolutely. Awesome, it's very solid, it's super solid, <laughs> and uh, I removed the the ones that, the one that it was before. Unfortunately, like I said, it's not the best design in the world, I will do better next time. Uh, but uh, I have, the output pin is right here, in the, and I cannot insert this wire uh, beneath uh, this component, unfortunately. And I had to link it there for the output, for the actual output. Let me see if I can actually make it with one hand. Uh, it is fitting quite, quite well, but you know, because it's having so many pins, and they are bendable, they're bending. Yep, good. Now it's good. All right. So uh, it is fitting very well, actually. Uh, but until you, you find its position there. And uh, it's working. It is working. It is uh, the last count that I made, counting to nine. Eight, nine. Let's see, counting to actually to eight. Uh, I think it's probably more that. So the last one doesn't lit up. And uh, this is eight. So this is two. One, two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this is four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And this is eight. I'm not letting the last one because it's resting on the last one. And uh, let's make number nine. Uh, here is a zero one, actually, is one. And it's not letting any, any lit, lit LED there. It's only on two is letting uh, the first one. So it's it's okay as it is right now because it's, it's a special pin, that one. And uh, I'm randomly I'm randomly putting a wire on any pin that I have there. I believe this was nine, yes, which is good, which is good. And uh, let's uh, actually count to 15. And let's see if I can do it with one hand. So when is the last three LEDs lit like that, like this, uh, and the last one is not lit, that's counting to 15. And to count to 16, to light all the LEDs, I'm switching this resistor to, uh, to minus to ground. And everything, uh, every LED is lighting up, and is counting exactly to 16. And uh, if I'm switching it back to plus, the switching is counting to 15, which is absolutely uh, awesome. <laughs> Super. Uh, yeah, I really like this component, and um, it proves that it can be made. You know, you you can make it if you want to, if you want to make it. I took out this LED because uh, the fifth one because is a uh, is a problem. There, I didn't look on this part of, at all. Only on this new component that I have here. So pretty much this is it for now. I have a new component there, the NAND plus NOT, this is the component that I have. But pretty much what is saying here, NOT and a NAND gate. Right, alright, thank you very much, I hope you like it.